Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 12 for 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. When we last saw Clark Kent, he was in the midst of a baffling mystery. Waiting at the hospital to interview the girl he had saved in the nick of time from a burning building, he had heard a dream. Two men, posing as the girl's relatives, had visited her room, stabbed her, and suddenly vanished. Today, as our story continues, some time has passed. The girl's injury proved not to be serious, and she is now well enough to give Clark Kent his interview, though nervous and upset. As her story approaches its climax, she becomes more and more excited. Listen. Mr. Kent, when I woke up here in the hospital, First thing I saw, the very first thing, there was two faces bending over my bed. Bartley Pemberton and Joseph Lee. They're the ones who tried to kill you? But they're the head officers of the North Star Mining Company. Of course they are, but don't you understand? Mr. Kent, I was there all the second day. About two months ago, I found out what they were doing. Mr. Kent, they weren't honest. They were swindlers. They sold people's stock in a mine out west. A mine with no gold in it. Go on, Miss Anderson. If you're not too tired. I want you to know what happened. I found some letters and some secret diagrams and maps. And then came the morning of the fire. Yes, go on. I got down to the office early that morning, began going through his desk. I was in his office all alone. I knew I had at least an hour before he got in. I stood there, opening and shutting the door. All the time, I didn't have any idea that there was somebody watching. Superman. 
man can take care of those. Hey, hey, what's that guy doing? Look, look. You see me. Gotta get out of here. He's at the car. He's on the dirt hole. Get him. Get him. Yeah, come on. Sorry, boys. Can't stay. Gotta get back to my paper and write up this story as Park Kent. In a hideout near the waterfront, Bartley Pemberton and Joseph Deneen stare grimly at the black type that tells so much and is so silent on the one thing they want most to know, whether their ex-secretary, June Anderson, has turned the incriminating papers over to the police. Pemberton decides to visit the Daily Planet office and learn what he can. Disguised as Dr. Ambrose, an investor in the North Star Mining Company, he pays a call on Clark Kent. Hey there, Kent. Somebody wants to see you. Huh? All right, who is he? Right this way. That's Mr. Kent. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, Mr. Kent, Mr. Clark Kent, who wrote the story on the North Star Line? Yes, I'm Clark Kent. What can I do for you? Uh, won't you sit down? Uh, thanks. Uh, Mr. Kent, I'm a medical man, Dr. Ambrose, and every penny I possess is invested in the North Star Mining Company. Say, I'm terribly sorry, Doctor. Oh, well, Mr. Kent, you don't mean I'm that. I'm afraid I do. Those fellows, Pemberton and Deneen, were out-and-out -out confidence men. Swindlers. What? They were? Why, the crooks, the rascals. I'm sorry about your savings, Doctor. Mr. Kent, my loss is not half so serious as the fact that men like that are still at large. Well, don't worry. They won't be long. Oh, so you'll catch them? You have the proof? Not yet, but we will have. Not yet? I, I don't understand. If you haven't the proof now, where is it? Oh, Kent, Kent, man, I, I've been looking for you everywhere. Oh, I, I'm sorry I didn't see you a bit. Oh, Mr. White, I just got in. Now, this is Dr. Ambrose. He invested in the North Star Mine. Yes. Mr. White, Doctor. Uh, how do you do? How do you do? Yes, I should say I did invest. Uh, it was great work on your part, Kent. You just got a call from the district attorney's office. What did they say? They checked the girl's story, and it's true. She has got a brother who's the captain of a tramp steamer, and she did give him the package of papers just before he sailed. Well, bless me, you don't mean it. Yes, isn't that something, Doctor? Uh, where's the tramp steamer heading for, Mr. White? Well, they asked us not to print it, but she's the Madison, running south from here to Charleston. The uh, Madison, hey? When will it arrive in Charleston? The day after tomorrow. The minute she docks, one of the DA's men will step aboard and pick up the package. I guess that'll put those crooks behind the bars all right when they're caught. Uh, yes, indeed, Mr. Editor, when they're caught. Well, uh, I'll not keep on disturbing you, gentlemen. Don't say no. I didn't mean to interrupt you and Kent. If there's eh? anything you want to know, Dr. Ambrose... Not a thing, just... Mr. Kent. I'll just run along. It's my business to know. It's, it's been a pleasure, a real pleasure. Well, if you're sure there's nothing I can tell no, you... No, no, nothing, whatever. You've told me all there is to tell. Well, good day, gentlemen. Good day. Real pleasure. Well... What do you make of him, Kent? I can't imagine, Mr. White. He's probably worried stiff over his money. Mm, you can't blame him for that. No. Now, where are you going? Back up to the hospital. There's a whole lot more of that story. I want to talk to that Anderson girl again. See you later, Mr. White. And you say you heard from your brother? I had a wireless message. Uh -huh. The papers were all right. And he'll turn them over to the police when he docks at Charleston. Well, now all we have to do is find Deneen and Pemberton. I feel safer when they're caught. <laughs> you and an old doctor that called at me a while ago said he'd invested heavily in the North Star Mining Company. That one man. What was his name? Why, uh, Ambrose. Dr. Ambrose. I don't recall any investor by that name. Well, the time I was talking to Mr. White about the Madison, the doctor just stood there biting his lips and tapping his index finger on the desk as though... What's the matter, Miss Anderson? What did you say he did? Bit his lips and tap with his finger? Uh, yes. What's so odd about that? Nothing. Mr. Kent, this old doctor, do you remember how tall he was? Sure, about oh, half a head shorter than I am. And did his eyebrows meet in point in a straight line? Uh, yes, they did. Mr. Kent, the finger that he tapped with, was there a scar on the knuckle? Did you notice that? Miss Anderson, you know him? Who was he? Oh, can't you guess, Mr. Kent? It was Bartley Pemberton, president of the North Star Mining Company. And now he knows. Bartley Pemberton? Oh, Miss Anderson, what if he does know? Oh, don't you see? Don't you understand? He wants those papers. He'll do anything to get them. He'll take a plane or a fast oh, boat. No, He'll catch no. the steamer. Oh, He'll sure. kill my brother. Oh, no. Now we're really getting somewhere. Take a boat, will he? And catch the steamer and kill the captain. I think not, Pemberton. Not this time. And not while Superman is around. There's Sandy Hook. You've got a good start, Pemberton, but you'll need it. Faster, faster. Is that the Madison? That big hulk up there ahead? That's 
sir, boss. Going up with her in good shape. Watch out for this wave. All right. What are you going to do? Hoist distress signals. Shoot off a rocket. Get that captain to take us aboard. Then what? Well, then we'll see. But whatever happens, we've got to have those papers. So make sure nobody else does. Stand by, Joe. Here comes more water. All right, sailor. Let go of the rockets. Signal that freighter to heave to. Give her the whistle. Aye, aye, sir. What will happen on board the Madison when Pemberton and Deneen demand the papers from Captain Anderson's safe? And when Superman comes streaking down from the northern sky in hot pursuit? Tune in next time and follow the story. Tune in with us next time and follow the exciting transcription, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 12 for 1940. So if you like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We have another video coming out real soon.